Yo, what's up, y'all? I just wanted to talk about this whole uh, reason why I bought this shoe. Um, uh, pretty much, I bought this shoe because, uh, you know, the Nike Air Yeezy, it's like so far out of reach uh, price wise. And I don't think Nike is going to retro that anytime soon. Uh, I decided to pay a little bit more attention to the uh, Yeezy brand. Um, my whole thing with this was like in the beginning stages, of this shoe like had a whole different type of vibe. As far as like getting backdoored and raffles not getting handled right and a uh, whole resale thing. Uh, I, I kind of just stayed away from the uh, Adidas Yeezy sneaker, but um, like I said, the Nike was like so far out of reach. I decided to check in on one of these shoes and decide to grab one uh, and then just be good with that one pair. And then the fashion show came around and then this shoe popped up. But in the beginning, you know, they kind of seeded this out to like friends and family, but then they also had that pre-order. Um, but I think at the time there was like a lot of Nike dropping, so I wasn't really checking for no Yeezy, especially not no pre-order. But um, fast forward till now, uh, they announced a restock or re-release, uh, official release, like maybe two weeks before it was going to happen or a week before it was going to happen. So I was like, hey, whatever, I'll try for it. Um, that's pretty much what I did. The way I went about it was um, I had my phone set for an alarm at the top of every hour. What I would do was just wake up at the top of every hour sit on and by the way it was either yeezy supply or adidas.com uh, i would sit on yeezy supply and then just hit refresh at the top of every hour um so i kind of had an idea it would drop at eight so when i woke up at eight uh i kind of just sat up i hit refresh and sure enough it went straight to the shoe like to pick the shoe size i picked my shoe size i went through there through the splash page pretty quick maybe 45 seconds I got to type in my information. I never used that uh, website before, so I kind of took my time. Well, I thought I took my time. So I thought I was taking my time on like adding my information on the Yeezy supply, but as you can see, like that's the name that they took uh, as far as order. I don't know if that's what they took on my billing, uh, like my credit card, but either way it worked in that. Um, I don't know if that's like, are the names important? I know address has to match with uh, the card and the shipping or whatever, but do the names really matter i mean apparently not right because nah that's not my name but whatever and then uh i think my processing whatever went pretty quick and then the email for confirmation popped up as well too so i just wanted to add that little part because there's a lot of youtube videos trying to like tell you how to do like some kind of lte jig or some kind of way to like get through i don't know as far as like adidas.com that stuff might work but yeezy supply i think that site's like maybe i always hear like that's the best website to get like your yeezy on um but yeah thanks